Hello, my crafty friends. Um, I just wanted to share a challenge that I entered um, with Roxy Car 11. She's having a giveaway, and in one in her giveaway, one of the requirements was to make something that she had made, and it's called a crazy quilt. So, um, this is the very first time I have ever, ever entered a challenge. So, this is my very first challenge that I ever did. And um, I was really excited about it because... You know, she showed me um, in her video what she had made, and I fell in love with it. I wanted one so bad, and then she put us two up to a challenge. So I was like, oh, no, am I going to be able to do this or not? Well, anyway, I had so much fun doing it that not only did I make one, but I made two. So you're going to see two of the ones that I made. Um, my craft room is kind of like my den slash uh, craft room mixed together. Because I stay in there a lot, and, you know, TV's going, so that's kind of like our lived-in room. Well, anyway, um, I love the color pink, but I have, I, I do have a pink bedroom, and I do have a, like a burgundy-ish bathroom with black. But uh, I'm going to make another one for that one. But I'm going to put this in my pink room. Anyway, I, I've been decorating my craft room, but I did not have enough of the blues to mingle like I had wanted to do it. But so I decided to do the pink one as for the challenge, but I also wanted to show off the blue one too. So either one really could be used for the challenge if um, she has two to pick from for me if she you know wishes to do so. This piece here, what I did is I um I'm gonna try to get a little close up here. I have uh, on the top here I put put a, a lace handle, and it's got um some little uh, teeny tiny uh, trim and I used a um, paper rose and I used some of my Lindy Stamp Gang uh, I think it's the cotton candy or something just a mild coat of uh, pink on the um, paper rose and then what I did is I added some bridal applique, applique on the very top piece here um, from let me show you the back the very back, I used um, one, two, three pieces of lace back here in the very back. I tried to frame it in so you couldn't see any raw edges of anything. And in between that lace and the lace in the front, I did put some fabric because I, I wanted this to be um, a little bit more durable and sturdy so you know, it won't be so flimsy and, and, and hold its shape. So, I took the lady's diary. This is the first time, Roseanne, I have opened this uh, lady's diary. I have had this package for I don't know how many months, and it was so beautiful, I just didn't want one to use it. But, because of this challenge, you made me cut open my book. <laughs> oh my gosh. I tell you what. I says, no, I don't want to. Yes, I do. This would be perfect project. It, this is the first project I have done with the lady's diary. And I it, it was because of your crazy quilt that I ended up cutting this book open. So now I'm going to have to use it because it's already been cut open. But I loved it. Oh, I loved it. I, I um, fuzzy cut it out, the lady figurine, with the parasol. And I stickled her, her little bracelet. Uh, stickled her some earrings. Uh, put some paper roses on the... Uh, flowers and put just a little bit of stickles around the flowers and also stickled around the parachute down here to give it just a little bit of glitz. Um, I made a pocket also. So there's, let's see, there's about six layers, five or six layers of lace all together from the back to the very front. And um, then I made the pocket. I made a little pocket out of one row of lace. And then I decided I wanted this little white lace it was just a scrap piece I had on the bottom right here and I used that up and then I took some of that fuzzy fringe it's kind of got a little bit of like baby pink very pale pale pink um, no no a pale pale yellow and a pale pale blue but it has a like a pink mixed in with it so you see more pink than you do anything else then I put a, a, um, a little bit of uh, gimp type beading here, put a spray here, a pearl spray that I got, I think, from Louisa, I think it was Louisa, I bought some too, so, 
she gave me one and I've got I think the pink one is might be mine but um anyway I took this uh, from a little girl's dress here this fabric it was fabric and a ruffle from the bottom of a dress and I added that piece to the bottom and this is this is what she turned out to be I really really love it and Roseanne, you got me addicted. Oh my God, I got to make a red one. And I now want to make a black one. So there's two colors I plan on making. I'm even thinking about making a purple one. But we'll see how far I go. But anyway, I had, I had so much fun doing this project that, you know, when I, I got done with the, the pink one and I just fell in love with it. It was just to die for. I said, okay. Now I got to do a blue one. So I'm going to remove my little pink one here. And I'm going to show you my blue one. The blue one will be going to uh, be one that will be going in my den. I'm going to have to, hopefully, no, it won't stay. I'll have to pull that back. Well, anyway, she's got a little uh, lace, um, lace handle. And on the top of the handle, there's a bow. And then when I come down to the bottom part here, I've got... Uh, well, I should have shown the back part. The very back, all I've done is um, one, two pieces of lace, um, some fabric trim on the inside of the lace, and then I've got the um, second coat of lace here. So there's one, two, three coats of lace, actually, that are layered on the very back. And then I put my fringe trim it's it's kind of it's, it's this is how the trim actually is supposed to look, kind of like a shabby chicy looking. I love that trim. Um, found that in eBay. So then what I did is I took um, this is another paper pad that I have not touched. I fell in love with it, and it's been sitting there and I haven't been using it. Been waiting for the perfect project. And Roseanne, you caused me to <laughs> open that book too. <laughs> But I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, I put a layer of lace over top of the fabric. And another layer of lace over top of the fabric. So it's got two layers of lace on this uh, fabric side. Then it has a layer of this lace. So that's three areas of lace. Um, it has a pocket down here. So that's the fourth layer of lace. And then it has the gathered ruffle lace right there. So it's got five layers of lace all together on it. Um, I, I, in here, I made just two little tags for journaling. Um, nothing really fancy, just plain little hand-cut tags that I cut out myself. And let me see here a minute. Okay, because I had it in a certain way. There we go. Anyway, um... The, I used the Fairy Bell collection. I cut out uh, three little butterflies from Martha Stewart. Put the blue, um, blue border trim. Did that little pocket. Uh, fuzzy cutted her. And, um, stickled her bracelet, her necklace, her earrings. So there's a little stickling there also. In between the butterflies, it's got stickles, so it gives a little glitz. I used a, a um, pearl spray that I found online. I can't remember who I bought this from, but it was somebody in Etsy. So I used uh, two of the pearl sprays, and then I used my the paper roses, and uh, all of these paper roses um, I got came from a Happy Meal from Louisa Diaz. She um, is in nothing but a uh, site called Nothing But Crafts on Facebook, and if you just look up uh, Louisa, L-U-I-S-A, D-I-A-Z, um, you will find her channel on YouTube. Very, very sweet girl. Um, very, very talented. Uh, very, very talented. I love her work. She does some gorgeous work. So, this is what I did, uh, Roseanne. I not only did one, but I had so much fun doing this. And I'm, it's, you're right, I got addicted. Um, you made me addicted. When I made the first one, after I made that first one, it was like, oh, this has got, this is so much fun. And it was really actually very easy to do. Wasn't hard at all to do. So these are the two that I made. Um, I'll just let you decide and pick which one you want for the challenge. 
Like I said, this is my very first challenge I've ever done. So, being the very first challenge, I'm, I was a little nervous about putting, because like, like I said, I plus uh, you you wanted us to make make our own, and I was like, okay, well, I don't know really how she made this. She did say how she made it, but, you know, putting it together yourself, you're kind of like trying to make it right. But this is what I came up with, and I was so, so tickled. I really enjoyed the challenge, my very first challenge. And Roseanne, I really had a ball doing it. Thank you for offering this challenge to me. Um, it kind of like got me out of a shell because there's been so many challenges on the internet and I have just not entered them because of, you know, certain certain reasons. You know, what hadn't didn't have anything to do with anybody, but was more me um not having either the supplies or not having the um the competition type of uh wanting to do at the present at that time and then when you came along with this i said okay i found a challenge that i would definitely like to enter it does look like it's going to be fun so let's give it a shot i gave it a shot and now i want to make more oh yes i do want to make more but um i had a lot of fun had a lot of fun uh, it, it's really relaxing the hot glue, on the other hand, there's no, nothing sewn on these pieces. Nothing is sewn. Everything is uh, done with the hot glue gun. Uh, of course, there were a couple of times where I accidentally um, got my fingers burnt. But it was it was fun. It really was. And the first one I learned by my, my first lesson of things not to do with the lace. The second one, I knew exactly what to do. Um, so the lace, it didn't show glue through the lace. So the first one, I did have to do um, extra row of lacing because the glue was starting to go through. And I was like, oh, no. Don't tell me I've messed it up. But once I put that other layer of lace over it, it, it um, hid the glue so you didn't see the glue anymore. And I knew exactly what I needed to do after that. So she turned out really perfect. And this the second one turned out um, very well, too. I was really thrilled with both pieces. And like I said, I can't wait to do a, a black and a red one. Well, y'all have a very nice day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.